Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to Supersize Your Business, No Nonsense November, tip and tool number 11. Today we're talking about growth mindset. And I'll share a little tool to use that and to uh, apply it to your business and your life. Let's talk about what the heck is growth mindset. Why does that make the top 30 list of my personal uh, No Nonsense November lessons learned? Well, it's because it is something that I learned Maybe not. I guess I've always been kind of a possibility thinker. Even as a kid, I was always exploring and experimenting and trying new things. But uh, the world, as you go through different phases and stages and have different experiences in your life, beats you up and pounds you down and tries to fit you into a little box. Some people fit into that little box really, really well. Others, <clears throat> I like to include myself in this, don't fit into the box at all. And we want to bust out and create our own things. That to me is a growth mindset. Growth mindset versus a fixed mindset means, hey, I like it how it is. I like the way the systems are. I like to fit on this little cog in a machine and I am thriving here. It works for me. But for other people, probably you, if you're listening to this segment, uh, we want to do our own thing. We want to have freedom. We want to create what it is that we want to see in the world. And that comes from having a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset, meaning we see the ultimate possibilities. We see abundance. Abund to me, fixed versus open. And I've got a little graphic because we've obviously talked about open and closed uh, communication before, as well as open and closed mindset, because this one's all about mindset, the little brain in the middle. <clears throat> uh, and again, it depends. We don't live in one or the other all the time, right? There are certain things that I have a very fixed mindset about. My what I think is right and what I think is wrong, where I draw the line in the sand for myself in terms of acceptable and unacceptable behavior in any area and aspect of my life, business included, that is my fixed part of my personality and my mindset. But there's a whole lot of my mindset that's wide open and flexible because it's opening me to possibility, to abundance, to seeing the world in different ways than I've seen it in the past, knowing that the way I see it right now is just a little bit of it based on my experiences and my uh, situation, my personal situation. So why do we want to have an open mindset? Well, because it means that we have the power to choose and create and make changes and embrace the things that we do that don't work out perfectly and learn from them and try something else and grow. So the reason I'm doing the Let's Grow Annual Challenge this year, growth is a core belief of mine and a growth mindset is a, is a piece and a part of that. So question on a scale of one to 10, one being I'm pretty much fixed in my beliefs and my thoughts and my actions and the way I do things and the way I think versus open mindset, super duper open mindset being a 10. I'll tell you right now, I'm definitely not a 10 when it comes to open mindset. I'm more like a, a six or a seven. So I, I believe in ultimate possibilities and that anything is possible but I probably don't live the majority of my life that way. I live most of my life around the seven, six to seven place, right? A little bit above average, but I know I could be doing so much more. And that's the fun of it, growing and becoming the best possible version of ourselves, and impacting our business in that way and creating what it is that we want to see in the world is a great example of a growth mindset. So where are you on a scale of one to 10 right now? And where do you want to be? I mean, <clears throat> would I like to be an eight or a nine? Yeah, would I like to be like Elon Musk and just see the massive possibilities in the world and then go out and make those things happen? Mm, maybe I maybe I consider myself a little too old for that, but I want to live that way. I want to live as if anything is possible and I can make a positive difference in the world. And I do that primarily through my businesses. All right, that's it for today. If I can help in any way, ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day. Expand your possibilities. Have a growth mindset. Minimize the negatives, think about the positives, build on the positives, have a learning, have some learning goals and, and personal development goals in terms of I want to be a better human being because me being a better human being sets an example to make the world a better place. We get what we give in the world. I think we've talked about that too. All right, have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.